Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another weekly tip video. In show 1259, I looked at Anybox, a bookmark manager that certainly left an impression on me to the point where it's now an integral part of my workflow. Now, we covered a lot in that video, but there are still a few bits that I think are important, and I'd really like to take the chance to cover them with you. So, this tip video is a little bit like an overspill video to allow me to cover those elements. So, let's get to it. Now, first of all, the use of search engines can be a big part of any box. If you open Quick Find and look for something and it doesn't actually appear in any box, you can search the web for it instead with a specific search engine. Now, to set this up, I'm going to open Preferences. I'm in the Shortcuts section already, which is where I want to be. And then down here, we can set a global shortcut for search engines. So I'll set that in there. And now I'll close this and invoke the shortcut. Now this is just like a quick find really, but this is how quick find looks if you search for something and it's not actually in any box. We have no results found and it says that if I press return, we can configure some search engines. So I'll do just that and Safari window opens. We've got some instructions here and guidance as to what the search engine feature is for. And there are two conditions for adding search engines into any box. One, the word keyword between two underscores needs to be in the URL. And then secondly, the link needs to have a keyword set. And that keyword needs to start with search, then an underscore, and there'll be some letters afterwards. Now we covered keywords in the original video. And thankfully there are some default ones here, but I am gonna show you how to set your own shortly. Let's click on one of these ones though. Let's go for Bing for once. It's not one I ever use. I'm asked if I want to open the link in any box, therefore adding it to it, which I do. And the link is saved. Now it's just in my inbox now, which is fine for this screencast. I will add it into a collection called search engines when I pause. I'll switch back to Safari and add a second one. So let's do Yahoo. I'll click allow and that one's in as well. Now that I've got entries in any box that have a keyword with search then underscore in them, I can see them here. We've got Bing is search underscore B and Yahoo's got a keyword of search underscore D. Now, if I open the search engine shortcuts, they both appear. I could type in some text, then choose the search engine that I want to use. Let's go for Yahoo. Ah, let me just accept this. It's not like I use Yahoo that often, as you can see. And there are my search results. I can find the one that I want. This is what I was looking for. I've actually got no idea why I put Marvel in there. I guess that's a force of habit and muscle memory. I really wanted this car though. And I'll add this to any box using the shortcut that we set up in the full video, which is TTT. Now I'll close these windows. So that's how to add the default search engines into any box and use them to carry out specific searches for anything that isn't in your database. But what about custom ones? Let's say, for example, you want to know if a certain video has been covered in screencasts online. Well, that's pretty easy to set up here as well. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.